All right, hey everybody, I'm back. This is Casey Starlong, and welcome to today's breakfast. Um, I was trying to start a video, but it froze on me, so I am back here. I am in my car, I am not driving. My husband is driving, we are on our way to, to do various meetings, and you see all the equipment in the back of the car. That is some of our church equipment. So we're church planters, and so we're constantly lugging church equipment. So y'all be praying with us that um, we will have a building soon. But in the meantime, we are so grateful um, where we are located, which is inside of the Kingdom House. And they've been such gracious, gracious, gracious partners um, to allow us to have service there. Well, anyway, um, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to welcome you. What I try to do every morning is just share a word from the Lord to just encourage you. And I believe that today's message, it encouraged me and I believe it's going to encourage you. Um, so the first thing that the Lord began to, hey, Eileen, I, God put you on my heart this morning, just covering you with your move and all that God has for you. And the Lord says to let you know that because you pray for so many people, he hears your requests. Amen. And he will... Um, touch the hearts of intercessors to pray for you so don't be concerned that you know sometimes it can be like God I'm always praying and interceding for other people what about me God says rest assured okay that he hears the desires of your heart and he's working amen all right so I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on in with what God has given me to just bless the body of Christ with and so the first thing is God put on my heart um to just speak a word of encouragement um, to each and every one of you to constantly remember how important it is to advance forward. That what can what can happen is, is that we can get stagnant and we can get complacent with where we are. But God is saying, remember the vision that I have given you and continue to move forward in that vision. Don't get comfortable where you are, but continue to move forward in the things that God has called you to do. And it might be step by step, it might be bit by bit, but continue to move forward. And I'll just give a quick example. So um, me and my husband, we planted our church, City Reach Church here in St. Louis, and we planted about a month ago. And the vision that God has given us is it's, it's large, it's a massive vision. And it can be very easy right now to just kind of get nestled in, and really honestly, kind of like the small. You know, we understand that, you know, uh, building a church, you know, it's kind of one by one by one. And, and what I hear from the Lord is saying, look, don't get comfortable here. Continue to move forward. Continue to do outreach. Continue to build relationships with those in the community. Continue to write grants. You know, continue to speak forth the vision. Continue um, to do your, your prayer watches. Continue to advance. Continue to move forward and take territory. What the Lord is saying is that he's given given us territory. So we don't have to just be comfortable with just like a little small section of the land, but God is saying continue to move forward in advance. So I share that word with you. The second thing is that God began to just speak to me at the beginning of this month, that he is bringing forth Christian marriages and pregnancies by couples that desire to have children. I will repeat it again. God says that he is calling forth Christian marriages. If you've been desiring to be married, um, you know, God just began to put it in my heart um, that he's bringing forth alliances for men and women to to wed. And also, if you've had in your heart um, the desire to carry children, I believe that there is an anointing in this season to conceive. And uh, that that's a that's a prophetic word that my husband and I, you know, we receive. We take that um, as God's word. But, you know, God keeps reminding me of that word just in my prayer time. And God began to gave, gave me a challenge. Like, would I release that out in faith? So I'm releasing it out in faith. And if you receive it by faith, just receive it in the name of Jesus. And so, you know, I hear some people saying, well, you know, I, I don't even know who my potential husband could be. You know, nobody's even looking my way. And I just will say this, that you don't even have to know who he is. You don't have to know where she is. But just know that when it's God's timing, when it is God's time, my husband's laughing. He's chuckling. When it's God's timing, you, you all you got to do is just is just wait for it to happen. Um, when I met my husband, I had no idea who he who he was. I mean, we were connected on Facebook, but at that time I was just friending everybody. You know, if you say you wanted to be my friend, I said, okay. But I had no idea that this guy was going to be my husband. 
had I had no idea, but it was in God's timing, we connected and he had been there all along and had absolutely no idea. But what I just hear from the Lord, what the Lord is saying that it's his divine timing. And in my prayer time, I begin to ask, well, God, why now? Why, why marriage is now? Why, why conception now? You know, why, why have you been waiting? And um, this scripture came to my mind and it's first Peter, um, first Peter chapter five, verse 10. And it says, after you suffered a while, <laughs> after you suffered a while, the Lord will strengthen you. You know, he will restore you. He will refresh you. And, um, for, for some of us, you know, it's been after a while. Okay. The time has come the time has come. So I'm praying with you for uh, conception, for those that are married, and for those of you that are single and you desire a godly marriage. I'm praying with you and I'm believing God for you. And I believe we're going to see the manifestation because that is the word of the Lord. One other thing that I just want to uh, share with you all is how important it is for us to respect those who are in positions of leadership and authority. Right now, we're living in a season where everybody thinks it's okay to scream at um, those that are in positions of authority and leadership, that it's okay um, to talk to them any kind of way, that it's okay to not treat them with respect. But I just encourage you as a Christian brother and a Christian sister to treat everybody well, especially those who are in positions of honor and authority, whether or not you agree with them, you can still treat them with the love of Jesus Christ. All right. Okay. Well, that is the word of the Lord today. I pray that this blesses you. I pray that you have an awesome day and I will be back later this week with more of breakfast. All right. Have a great one. Bye.